Good afternoon. I'd like to talk to you about programming the Silicon Labs SI514. This is the uh, ebook. And right here, uh, we set up a little experiment. And I have the SI514. This is the 5x8mm package. It comes in two package sizes, another smaller package. It also comes in various voltages from 1.8, 2.5 to 3 volts. This is 3 volt CMOS. Uh, it works from about 100 kilohertz up to 170 megahertz or a little bit beyond depending on the variety you have. Um, th this board here is a software radio and this is the VFO. It's ideal for a VFO because you can get down to uh, 1 hertz accuracy. In many clock chips you can only get within a couple of percent of the frequency you want but for this one you can get to within, within 1 hertz which is really good for an amateur application. Uh, in the ebook, we'll look at different ways of programming this chip. What I've done here is I've got a Raspberry Pi, a very popular small computer used in education here. And on the top right hand corner of the Raspberry Pi, you'll see the GPIO bus. And I've got three leads running over here. The first one is the SDA, the data link. And the next lead, the yellow lead, is the clock. And then the uh, blackish blue lead here is the ground and it runs into a header here. I've got two series resistors in series with these two leads just in case there's a, um, a current short and then I've got um, a bypass capacitor on VCC and I've got two pull-up resistors to VCC. Inside the uh, ebook I explain why, uh, why we need the various resistors. Okay now when, when the uh, particular part starts up uh, depending on what frequency uh, you've ordered it'll start up at the same frequency so I'm just going to invoke the spectrum analyzer here and let's just check the startup frequency. This part here is 10 megahertz, so it should start up at 10 megahertz. So when we look at the spectrum, so if I put the peak search on, you'll see that the peak here is 10 megahertz. You'll notice a lot of uh, harmonics here because of course this uh, chip produces a square wave. Now let's say we want to uh, change the frequency and let's say we want to go to, let's say, I don't know, 125 megahertz. So what I do here, is uh, this is the Raspbian desktop for the uh, Raspberry Pi and what I've got here is Python script that I'll use to program the SI514 and what the Python script does is it first calculates the register values there are several registers in here that you have to program uh, there's an R0, an R5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and an R132 so the Python script first calculates the values of those registers and then it uses the GPIO to write those values uh, into I'll invoke Python, Python 3.4, and then the name of the file. There's different versions of Python. I'm using Python 3.4. Okay, so we'll run that. Now, when I check on the spectrum analyzer, what we should see is we should see 125 megahertz. Okay, so I'll go back to the spectrum analyzer and I'll put the probe in here. I'm using a probe. I'm paranoid about spectrum analyzers and blowing them up, so I've got a 20 dB probe in here. Okay, so there's, um, I'll just look at a peak here, peak search. There's my 125 megahertz. Okay, now another thing to notice here is I've got the scope set up. So here's a uh, picture of the SDA and the SCL. This is the tail end of the waveform, and this would be uh, probably setting the R132 register. So then just to summarize in the ebook, we'll look at various ways of getting the data into the uh, uh, SI514. We'll look at using the Raspberry Pi and we'll also look at uh, using the Arduino as well.